Hello. Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial in which we will learn about operators, uh, operators of C. Now most of the operators in C operate on uh, uh, arithmetic types that is integral types or real numbers that is uh, int, char, float and double and of course on short ends, long doubles and so on. But these do not operate typically on strings like other functions. For example, in Python if you use a plus operator, then two strings are concatenated. But it does not work in C like that. Now C has got lots of operators, probably because uh, the creator Dennis Ritchie himself was a scientist. And you also have lots of mathematical function in its math library, but if you use any of those functions, then you have to use the linker flag minus lm, all small. Uh, okay, so as I have also said in my seventh part, that unless we are done with control flow, that is, if else switches and loops we will not be writing uh, useful programs so please bear till that time these are like uh, fundamentals of uh, programming and you have to learn this in order to write useful program there is no escaping that okay so i'll put uh, this and terminal side by side so that we can see this we can run this and see the output Okay, let me resize this to suit our need. Okay, so this is op.c. Now I have declared an integer i is equal to 5 and j is equal to 8, and then I compute sum i plus j, and then I subtract i from j and uh, then j from i. Now since int is signed integer, so it can hold negative numbers also. But if you have an unsigned int, it will not hold that. Now if I print this sum difference and this unsigned difference, you see what happens. So I, I have already compiled this. So if we run this, let us look at this. So you got sum. 5 plus 8 and then 8 minus 5 and then 5 minus 8 so it is negative but look at this this has gone haywire because if you look at uh, the range of uh, int this is from uh, this negative range, uh, max value to this much so you add them you get some value and then you do plus 1 to get the total number of possible values and then you subtract 3 from that because that is what we are trying to hold and that's how you get that unsigned value now these also hold true for double i mean operators so i have got two doubles and then i subtract them and then i also multiply them star is uh, uh, that is shift it probably on your keyboard and slash are multiplication and uh, division operator so you see the output you have got d1 minus d2 and then d2 minus d1 and then multiplication and the division okay so we proceed further now if any of the numerator or denominator is real number that is float or double then it will be a floating point division or otherwise it will be integral division so you see d1 by i and i by d1 yields you floating point numbers here but if you say j by i that is 8 by 5 you get 1 now what happened to the fractional part of j by i it gets lost you don't get fractional output in integral division now how do we get that fractional part out or the remainder part so you got percentage which is the modulus operator now note that percentage does not apply for floating point division try this so 
I'll have to enable fly make mode to show you. Okay. So you see, invalid operands to binary percentage. You simply cannot do this. Now j percentage i, if we see, so we expect a result of three. So we have got three. Eight by three. Uh, sorry, eight by five gives you a remainder of three. Now we have got something called increment and decrement operators. Those are plus plus and minus minus. These are in prefix form and postfix forms. This is an example of uh, postfix and this is an example of prefix. So plus plus will increase the value by one. So i was five. So here it will become six. But that increment does not take effect. It will be first printed as five and then it will become six. So it will print six here. And then here what will happen since it is prefix, it will be first made 7 and then printed. So we will see 5, 6 and 7. And the reverse will happen in decrement. So it will print 7, 6 and 5. So you see 5, 6, 7 and 7, 6, 5. Now let us see what happens if we try i++ multiplied by plus plus j. So that will become 45. because i will remain 5 but j will become 9 so it becomes a 45 but what if you try j plus plus multiplied by plus plus j so that will give you a race condition because of sequence points for that you will have to read specification or um, some book which explains that right now i'm not going to explain but do not try to increment or decrement one value in one expression that will cause you problem now let's see what happens if we try this i and then five pluses and then j no space in between so what as a human being we can think is it is i plus plus and then add that to plus plus j but c parser is greedy and it will try to get the biggest possible token and then it will be like i plus 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 and then plus j that's how and the parser will take it. Now i++ is not an L value. An L value is something for which you can take address but for i++ you can't apply ampersand operator and therefore you cannot apply plus plus operator to that and to get all these nitty-gritty details you need to read my uh, sorry you read need to read the specification or you need to read the book which I have written which contains part of that specification. So that's why it will give you a compilation error. Now we come to relational operators. So there are four of those greater than, less than, greater than equal to, less than equal to. So these yield boolean values that is true or false. Do not try to compare floats or doubles for comparison or equality. Because of their storage requirements two different real numbers may end up having similar bit representation and then comparison. So when we were dealing with data types we saw that uh, um, the number which we had stored if I remember 123.456789 that got rounded to 77 that is 123.456 77. So if we take a number very close to that for example, 123.456788, then in most probable chances, both the floats will compare equal because of their bit representation. So do not try to compare this. So now I is uh, uh, possibly um, 6 and J is 9 because of this. So we have got uh, this false, I guess. And this is also false while well, these are true. So we should get 0011. So we get 0011. Now there are two equality operators to compare whether two values are equal or not. These also yield Boolean values. So 4 is equal to 4, yes. And then 4 is not equal to 4. So the output will be self explanatory 1001. So you see why output is so clearly 4 is not equal to 5. Okay, so you have got 0. And then 4 is not equal to 5, so that is true, so you got 1. And I got certain bit manipulation uh, operators, ampersand or uh, XOR or caret. 
left shift and right shift and then uh, not gate this is not so these are more like gates logic uh, boolean gates and uh, shift registers uh, you you encounter these in electronics so if i say 4 ampersand 5 so binary of 4 is 100 while binary of 5 is 101 so you will get uh, <coughs> the and when you apply to this you will get 100 and then 4 or 5 will give you 5 and then XOR will give you 1 and then if you shift it left so what happens in 32 bit register it is shifted towards left the values and the, from the right side zeros are pushed in so it will effectively become 4 into 2 to the power uh, 2 so that is 4 into 4 so if you have n here so that will become 2 to the power n so that is 16 and then this will be divided by that much that is 4 by 2 to the power 2 so if this is n so this will be 4 by 2 to the power n so this will become 1 now not get is uh, different in this sense not get will make any true value false that is if it's positive it will make it zero if it's negative it will again make zero because both positive and negative values are considered true in boolean sense so not 4 is uh, uh, 0 uh, because 4 is true. Now we have got uh, some compound assignment operators star is equal to slash is equal to and so on. Now this these operators have the form like operator is equal to. So it, then if we say x operator is equal to y then it means x is equal to x operator y. So let's say x is equal to 4 and if we say x plus is equal to 1 then that means x is 4 plus 1 or 5. That is x is equal to x plus 1. So if you see here it will print 5. So this covers almost all the operators but uh, we have still some operators to go and we will see those operators in uh, our next part that is the part 2 of operators I didn't cover all of them because otherwise it would become a lot more to consume in one tutorial so I have gone pretty fast I would uh, request you to uh, probably reread on this you can go to here and possibly uh, guess chapter number 7 so you should read this chapter and you will have a much better idea it is explained in a lot more detail over here which is definitely not possible in a video. Uh, thanks for watching the video and keep programming. Enjoy.